During the Apple Studio and M1 Ultra unveiling back in March, Apple featured a selection of professional applications to demonstrate just how far the new SoC is. One app from the keynote that caught my eye was Clo 3D. It's a 3D clothing simulator that fashion designers can use to prototype their designs without ever cutting a piece of fabric. It's the perfect app to try. The fashion industry has always loved the Mac, and a 3D workflow like this will push all those 64 new GPU cores hard, right? Well, to find out, I lent a Mac Studio to a fashion designer who, if you can believe it, switched to PC. Let's see if we can win him back. This is Matthew Liu. He's a fashion designer here at the Creator Warehouse, actually, designing many of the clothes and accessories found on LTTstore.com. Right now, though, he's planning on submitting an entry to the 3D Creative Design Competition, which is being hosted by Clo3D. Uh, so every year, uh, Clo3D does this 3D design contest. Yeah, I, I always wanted to sign up for this contest every year, but I always forget about it and I miss the deadline. But luckily this year I remembered and I was able to um, register for that. Though bilingual when it comes to computers, he has switched to using his PC full time. So you got a pretty powerful computer. Um, what, what specs do you got? So here I have the Ryzen 9 3950 x 16 core processor with a uh, 16 gigs of RAM and uh, RTX 3060 Ti. I do love how you have an Apple logo. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, still <laughs> Apple by heart. Look what I have. Your computer might be small, but this is even smaller. Price-wise, it costs about the same as a base M1 Max Mac Studio at around $2,000. Um, but I switched to PC mostly because I wanted to use Clo 3D more, but it runs very slow on Mac OS. I, I've always had a gaming PC that I use for gaming, but then I upgraded that just so I can use Clo when I was in school. Well, we can't have that. So what we're going to do is give him a Mac Studio with all the bells and whistles to see if it's good enough with Clo 3D to switch him back to Mac. This is the dream. You excited? Yeah, I'm excited. I'm really excited to see how this goes for you. So I guess we'll report back in a little bit. Yes. All right. Best of luck, my friend. I am curious how the Mac Studio is going to perform, but while we wait for Matthew to get his hands dirty, let's hear from this video's sponsor, Ugreen. This is their brand new Nexode Mini 45 watt charger, which is perfect for MacBook Air users. At only 2.62 cubic inches and rocking dual USB-C ports, you can share all this concentrated power between two of your dying devices. Before upgrading to Apple's compact dual charger, check out Ugreen's Nexode Mini at the link in the description below. So when they announced this year's theme, a new definition of craftsmanship, first I need to figure out what, <laughs> what that means. Uh, so I end up going towards the idea of kind of um, more abstract weave design. To summarize, it's very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> I never expected to see fashion designers using 3D software to design their clothing. It's pretty neat, but how useful is it? Basically, it's a fabric simulator. You can quickly simulate your clothing on an avatar and then make changes based on that. Sewing a project would usually take hours, days. Being able to use the software to test your designs, make sure it works, where you actually start producing the real one. Like it cuts out issues and troubles down the line so that you can kind of build ideas quicker. So my first day, I set up the computer, I installed all the software that I need. I start with a kind of like a template of how I want the fit to kind of look like. Mm -hmm. I do all that, I simulate it, it looks good. Then that's when I start adding the actual like weaving detail. Mm -hmm. um, that's where it starts getting a little tricky on the Mac Studio. <laughs> because things started to slow down and it was very hard to kind of weave pieces together without uh, frame rates dropping too low. So I tried it on my PC <laughs> and then it ran like so much faster, like the FPS um, increased like dramatically. Mm -hmm. uh, so Clo has, you can simulate with CPU or GPU. Yeah. And on the PC, being able to simulate with the GPU uh, makes certain processes kind of like more efficient that I couldn't do on the Mac. 
So it turns out that despite natively supporting Apple Silicon, Clo 3D hasn't yet implemented GPU acceleration on the Mac. Hey. Hello. How's it going? It's going. Well, what's that doing over there? Well, I switched back to PC and... Oh man. This is a surprise. It's important for fashion designers like Matthew because they need the software to be responsive while it renders their developing designs. Matthew tells me that GPU acceleration is less accurate at simulating collisions, but that the speed it brings helps with quickly drafting up his complex ideas. Well, I zoom in a lot. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm like, I'm like scrolling here and it's like. So this would be faster on a PC. Oh yeah, for sure. Which is why he switched. Did you feel bad switching back to PC? Uh, not really. What? It definitely was very not up to not the same as using on the PC. So it definitely would slow me down. I probably would have needed like probably another week or two to <laughs> to work on this project. I assume that when Apple was promoting this program in their presentation, it was already ready to go and running smoothly on Apple Silicon. Fabric simulation is faster now. Oh yeah, that I was like, no way. <laughs> <laughs> but it turns out that at the time of the announcement, Clo 3D was still running on Rosetta and it wasn't updated until May. And as we've seen, still isn't taking advantage of the whole chip. So then what about the other apps? During that short clip, Apple also featured Ableton Live, Adobe After Effects, Vectorworks, Cinema 4D and Redshift, and Boris FX Sapphire. It appears that Adobe After Effects was the only other app that wasn't running natively yet, with Ableton just squeaking their 11.1 .1 release out a month before. And like Clo, you can't expect everything to work. There are numerous plugins in Ableton that still run on Rosetta. It's crazy how long this silicon tech has been out, and yet how far behind some of these plugin developers actually are. Meaning much of the performance the M1 Ultra offers might still be left on the table. Something that Anthony discovered in his tests of the computer on LTT. So the, the final kind of moments of getting the design done, what was that like? Uh, very stressful because I changed my ideas a few times again. I ended up staying, until, staying up until like 4 a.m. to like finish it and submit it early so there's not any problems the next day in case there was any problems. After all this time, I mean, there's gotta be something the Mac does better than the PC, right? Interactive render, so like live render, did perform better on the Mac OS. So that's way faster. Yeah. So when you were, when it was two in the morning, Yeah. and you had finished on that computer, you actually came to this computer to- Oh uh, no, I still wasn't on that, that one. I was on time crunch, so I didn't want to- But this would have helped you, no? I, I didn't know that before. So I, didn't want, I didn't want to risk it, because you know, from my experience using the simulation before. Yeah, so here's why it's submitted. So this would be like your, the concept image. So this is my concept. How do you feel about the final design? It was like, I'm happy with it. Like, I don't think I would have submitted, if I was unhappy with it, I don't think I would have submitted it. Here's the top, and then the back. <gasps> No, oh, no, I just noticed this. Oh no, I shouldn't have stayed up till 4 a.m. Or I should have submitted the next day, so that way I'm not like... Like this morning? Yeah. So what, what, what's happened there? I think I just didn't simulate that part to go over the underlayer. <laughs> it's okay, what's done is done. I can't go back and change it. So this is where the simulation kind of make or break your... Well, because this is done with GPU simulation. Well, sometimes on GPU simulation, the fabric goes through itself versus CPU simulation, where it kind of can like, it knows when there's a fabric on top. So that means the Mac would have helped here. Now, to be fair to Clo, they have never supported GPU acceleration on Mac OS because they use Nvidia's CUDA API. So if in a future release, they do bring metal GPU acceleration to the Mac, that would be a big boon for Mac loving fashion designers who use the platform, bringing it to feature parity. Thanks for doing the test for us. Yeah, thanks for it. giving me this opportunity. Sounds like a job, <laughs> sounds like a job interview. <laughs> yeah, but you, well, yeah, you had the opportunity to learn that it was worse.
Yeah, it's, yeah. You saved me the trouble from buying one and trying it myself. <laughs> Were you wanting to do that? No. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, <laughs> now I know I for sure won't. <laughs> so, like, would you get an M1 Max Max Studio if Cloud 3D had GPU acceleration? I would, would rather have this in a laptop form. Like, I wouldn't buy a desktop Mac. I hear the results are in. Yes. How do you feel? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know what to expect, really, because I haven't seen all the people's work, so I'm not too sure what to expect. I'm nervous for you. Oh, yeah, same here. I didn't win. No! I didn't win anything. You don't have to whisper it. <laughs> also, how do you feel about the contest? Like, knowing the results, I don't think I would have changed anything. Like, cool. and what I submitted, I was happy with. So it turns out we both lose. It's been over two years since Apple announced their transition to ARM. And in that time, we got very compelling and efficient computers that are fantastic for day-to-day -day use. But things haven't been going quickly. I mean, Microsoft only just announced their Apple Silicon native version of the Teams app, which they're still gonna be rolling out slowly somehow. If you're a professional that doesn't edit a video and you're thinking about upgrading to an Apple Silicon Mac, check the system requirements of your app of choice to see if it's ready, because otherwise you might still want to wait. Thanks for disappointing this Mac address. If you are not a professional and still interested in an Apple Silicon Mac, give this video a like. And if you are a professional, uh, you might as well subscribe because we'll find out when it's ready. Now in the comments, I'm curious, have you found a piece of software that's still been giving you trouble in this transition? And what is it?